Hey kids, welcome back to Everything is Terrible. I have recorded this uh, about four or five or twelve times over by now because of various technical difficulties or another, and I'm kind of annoyed with it by right now. It's your turn. Clearly that's the best condition to be recording in, right? I can't believe it's happening either. <laughs> Uh, you're right. I shouldn't be getting emotional. I should just settle in and play. I must win, because after all that, anything else would be uncivilized. Okay, so uh, this is essentially Monopoly the Gathering. We're mixing a board game strategy along with a collectible card game number crunching. I swear, I'm going to have to turn those notifications off. So, moving on. When it says total magic, it means more like your net worth. Uh, it says magic, but it also uses pictures and animations of gold to depict magic, air quote. So I think the two terms are used pretty interchangeably. Uh, you get magic for passing go. I mean, the castle. The total goal is 5,000 for this map, which is important because the first two times I played this map, I forgot and thought it was 3,000 instead, and I got cocky, and then I made it to the last spot and went, oh, the game didn't end. So you guys will miss that fun. All right, press up to play Mario Party. All right, looks like this time I got the blue-yellow deck. This is interesting because I thought that it was based on your name to see which uh, deck you get. But I've gotten both the blue-yellow and the red-green starter deck from the same set of statistics. Er, and by statistics, I mean the exact same name. So it's based on something else. Maybe they flip an internal coin. I don't care anymore. All right. I forgot. What cards did I have? Yeah. Let's go to blue. Yeah, I have stepped on a vacant land. Now, that's important because the land's value, except in certain extreme circumstances, will be higher than the cost of summoning the creature. So that's instant profit. Okay, so, the support... What she just said is actually very important. Uh, I know it may be surprising to have important dialogue in the intro section, but whatever. If the elements match, and the co elements are all color-coded, so it's thankfully easier to figure out what is what. Matching elements get a bonus to their hit points. Uh, if you want to go in Magic the Gathering terms, this is exactly like the slash numbers at the bottom. Strength is strength, uh, attack strength, HP slash MHP is defense. Uh, MHP is maximum hit points, and the middle one, just HP, is current hit points. When they're on the board, physically on the board, that those two it can actually be different. If they're in your hand, then they always have max. Basically, as soon as the creature is reverted to card form, if you will, then it gets healed, regenerated, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, isn't it so nice when people take turns to have wars? That's also true. There are certain things that get higher values based on the later in the game it is, so the higher round number or the earlier round number or... You spin me right round, baby, right round number. Yeah, read the descriptions carefully of spells, because God forbid you cast the wrong one. I have none currently. I have creatures and an item. I have no yellows, and I must scream. But Giant Rat is really just a placeholder anyway, so we're putting it down. That is very important. When you have more than one land of the same color, then you get a monopoly. I mean, a, a chain, which ups your rent. I mean, toll by a very nice sequel. All right, this is already looking like the last recording. Uh, all right. Can, can I just hit her, please? That's right. 
Yeah, the in-game help system, by the way, is a labyrinth of information, by which I mean you will probably get lost before you find anything useful. Passing a fort gets you a bonus to your money. You get a bigger bonus when you actually pass a go. I mean the castle. Oh, hey, you're going to say what I just said. Da, 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 da. That's also a very, very worthwhile to know. When you land on the castle or a fort, you can use territory commands, which I'm sure we'll cover very soon. Thanks, tutorial on any square on the map that you own. It's your turn. Unfortunately, squares that I own is a very small number right now. Alright, well, putting this to good use, I'm territory commanding this to level up the land and raise the toll. And also the val land gets more valuable. What's also more important is that the land effect of the creatures also goes up. So instead of getting 10 extra hit points, he gets 20 extra hit points. As long as the elements match anyway. If you're leveling up territory with an unmatched or a neutral creature on it, no one cares. Discard a card. Um, I hate you, Aqualing. Hey, Aqualing! We're just going to pretend that never happened. I, I know. Thank you. You mean like I just did? Oh, thank you. I'm not sure I would have known otherwise. Kill me now. Okay. Um... Yeah, I just need territory. I'm going to put it down. That looks disgusting. Some of the creature animations are downright silly. I'm going to spend that so that I lap faster and can use mana to greater effect. Yeah! Um, yeah, we'll do that. No. No, we'll do that. Discard a card. She has a handful of critters. For the Actually, that sounds kind of inappropriate. Forget I said that. Oh, hey, those of you who have been keeping track of me and Dino Ratch's videos or his streams will know what time it is. Uh, today, the drink of choice is Sam Adams' White Christmas, which I'm pretty sure I was drinking during one of the Killer7 episodes. Uh, it is a unfiltered white ale, uh, more like a summer ale, that has Christmas spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, orange peel. I'm sure there's more that I'm not remembering. Yeah, let's put the ogre down. Ogre battle! Yeah, and you saw what that did to my toll on the other land. From 60 to 90. 60 to 90? Yeah. No, uh, yeah, something like that. Anyway. Uh, it's a good beer. Uh, however, it's very light. It's easy to drink, but then again, so is water. So I don't know what that may mean for you. Uh, I... I enjoy it, but I don't think I would buy another six-pack. So by all means, give it a try. Just don't buy 12. All right, since I just lapped again, I'm going to spend this, which gives you money based on how many laps you've made. And by money, I mean magic. Not like they even know the difference. Well, holy poop. This is strangely fortuitous. Okay, so now we actually get to see some worthwhile battles. Aqualeg will not neutralize the Red Ogre because it has higher than 30. 
Uh, if she had a weapon to use, which I was not paying enough attention to look at, the game even lets me see, and I didn't see it. Then she had a chance at winning. Actually, she would have won if I hadn't used that armor. So uh, I'm glad that I did. Ow. And what's very interesting about that is that uh, I did enough damage to actually kill the card. If you don't, then it just goes straight back to her hand and heals. I'll take that 30 it's your turn. units of currency, please. Now I have a bunch of maces and no creatures to place on this land. All right, well... Ta-da! Playing with the blue-yellow deck is more interesting because the primary... Uh, actually, every other game that I've played for any length of time started me with the green-red deck. And so I'm much more familiar with the low-level green and red creatures. What's weird is that most of my decks of those evolved into red-yellow decks, which is not a typical mix at all. Yeah, let's just change everything to blue. You know what? I think that might make that my goal of the board. I'm going to see how many things I can turn blue. da ba dee ba da no Yeah, blue ogre in a red square. Who cares? How do you like me now? I have all these neutral creatures that I don't really care for. Okay, I have 510. Ta-da! Symbols, since you keep seeing those things pop up, are essentially like the stock market of the game, but we can't do anything with those yet. I mean, technically we could if we had a card from a creature or a spell that affected them, but we don't in the starter deck, so screw it. I... She has armor. She can't win. So I'm just going to let this go. Attacks first, which is basically first strike. Oh, we'll... Let a defender attack first, but if both creatures have it, then the attacker still attacks first. Woo. I would like some money, please. Why, thank you. She didn't have anything worth crushing last time, so I'm not going to bother. See, now I could level that up, but it won't be worthwhile until she circles the board again, so I am just going to wait. You can only have six cards in your hand, so at the beginning of the next turn, when I draw my seventh, I'm going to have to discard something. It's your turn. Discard a card. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Crusher because I just... She hasn't been getting enough items to make it worth having. Alright, so I'm not turning everything blue anymore. Well, I still might, but... It's less likely. At lower AI levels, the computer will fight anything, even if they are hopeless. Yeah, I had to make sure that I couldn't lose this. Because they both attack first, so the rat will attack first. But when a defender is designed to attack first, that's a problem. However, not enough of a problem. All right, well, uh, we're nearing my arbitrary self-imposed time limit. So that'll be it for today. Tomorrow will...